Good morning, Piraten Pate. I'm very happy to see you, and I'm sorry I can't be there in person this time around. The Netherlands always had a very special place in the pirate movement because of two reasons. First of all, the country as such is very progressive, has a very, very progressive history, a very progressive attitude. This coupled with the fact that Tim Kuyk, or however that's pronounced, and brain are absolutely outlandish, insane, and so far out they don't even reflect sunlight anymore, makes for a perfect battleground where you can make people understand how important these issues are. Most people already agree with us, that's important to remember. People are voting for what they think is most important of what they already believe. The second reason Netherlands is special is the lack of a parliamentary barrier. In most countries in Europe, except for Finland and, and the Netherlands, there is a 4 or 5 percent barrier to entry to Parliament, which makes the Netherlands really, really good positioned to be a front bowling pin for the rest of the movement. A typical political party needs 23 years to get its first representative. This was told to me in the UK, which might be slightly different in terms of their weird political system, but it's still a good ballpark number. We got our first rep after three and a half years, followed by many more after five years, so we are kind of special in that way, a little bit of a special snowflake party. But we are working by trial and error. And that's important to remember here. We don't have the right answers to how to go about this, how to create a party in, on the, in the internet age. We're the first to do so. We're the first to do so on this scale. And yet there are now representatives, well there were representatives from Sweden, there are representatives from Germany and Iceland. Iceland is important. And the second round to the Czech Senate where we actually had representatives coming through to the sec round, second round is happening as we speak on Friday and Saturday. Iceland obviously is coming up on October 29 where we can actually become the biggest party. How cool is that really? But I really want to emphasize how important the Netherlands is in this story. There are many reasons. First of all, you have, as the Iceland did, the leverage of a few seats. Iceland had three seats. That was enough so they could show from the inside of Parliament just how valuable they are to the population at large. And now they're positioned to be the large party. The second is that once you're inside of Parliament, you're taken seriously in a completely different way completely different way. <laughs> and actually it's kind of fun just making the copyright industry realize they're talking to lawmakers. Lawmakers. The ones that stand above them. That's cool. It's actually quite enjoyable to be honest. And last but not least, and this might be o o frequently overlooked, a member of parliament is a paid position and frequently gets assistant positions. That means you get full-time activists able to dedicate their entire awake time to changing these issues and doing so from the inside of Parliament. And that has an enormous, enormous effect. So enjoy this conference. I am absolutely convinced that the Piraten Pate can do this. It's never been in a better position to actually pull ahead and break through and get seats. We can do this together across Europe and the world, but mostly Europe at this point. We can do this together. And Netherlands is a key front bowling pin in this game. So go get them. And I'm proud to call you my colleagues on a day like this. Thank you. Enjoy the conference.